afternoon. On behalf of the National League for Nursing and the Board of Governors, we are so pleased to have you here with us as we celebrate the achievements of our colleagues and friends. Today, we will first honor the three named NLN Award winners. Then we will present the 2020 Centers of Excellence in Nursing Education. And we will end this session with a highly anticipated induction ceremony of the new fellows into the NLN Academy of Nursing Education. And now we begin with the NLN Awards. The first award is the LLN Mary Adelaide Nutting Award for Outstanding Teacher or Leadership in Nursing Education. This year's awardee is Dr. Laura Adrian Taylor, Program Director slash Chair of the Adult Gerontology Clinical Nurse Specialist Program at Uniform Services University in Bethesda, Maryland. With more than 26 years in the transplant nursing community, and 34 years in nursing education, Dr. Laura Adrian Taylor has earned national and international recognition as a strong leader who shapes, practice, policy, and education. She offers disruptive instructional approaches to research intensive universities that value interprofessional collaboration and education to drive the imaginative integration of IT with the science of nursing and nursing education. Laser focus on improving care outcomes. She guided the design and implementation of innovative and information technologies to ensure that nurses around the world had access to current resources on a wide variety of technology platforms. The Uniform Services University motto of commitment to learning to caring for those in harm's way has inspired Dr. Taylor in multiple ways that, taken together, have fostered her work to provide high quality, safe patient care, and to guide global change within numerous healthcare educational settings, aligning with Ms. Nutting's legacy to strive for meaningful educational and healthcare policy reform. I wish to thank the National League for Nursing for the high honor of the Mary Adelaide Nutting Award. Ms. Nutting's extraordinary military efforts throughout World War I and II were instrumental in ensuring the availability of education and resources for the nurses who were providing the care of soldiers in austere environments that the men and women of our armed forces face. The motto of the Daniel K. Inouye Graduate School of Nursing and the Uniformed Services University is learning to care for those in harm's way. Everyone here strives to live up to this motto. And I am grateful to the university under the leadership of Dean Carol Romano for affording me the opportunity to contribute to the top-notch education of the next generation of military leaders in advanced practice nursing, research, and education. Thank you for this honor. Now we would like to present the Isabel Hampton Rob Award for Outstanding Leadership in Clinical Practice. We present this award to Dr. Eileen Stewart Shaw, Associate Professor of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences at University of Massachusetts, Boston. Dr. Eileen Stewart Shaw received her BSN from St. Anselm College, MSN as a cardiovascular clinical nurse specialist, an adult nurse practitioner from Boston College, and a doctorate in nursing and health policy from the University of Massachusetts, Boston, and nurse practitioner at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. She completed a National Institutes of Health funded postdoctoral fellowship in cardiovascular epidemiology in Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, Harvard Medical School. Currently, she is a lecturer in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences at the University of Massachusetts, Boston, and a nurse practitioner at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Dr. Stuart Shaw's clinical work, teaching and scholarly research are focused on health as a human right, nurse-led models for improving patient-centered outcomes for underserved populations, 
and building capacity for high quality, safe health care in under-resourced countries. This work began when, as a new graduate nurse, she co-founded a nurse-led clinic for the homeless in Boston that became a national model, which now spans two continents, extended from an underserved neighborhoods in the US to Africa. Her work is premised on valuing meaningful, clinical, academic, service partnerships that are reciprocal and accrue by directional benefits. <laughs> Through such transnational partnerships, Dr. Stuart Shaw has collaborated with colleagues in the US and Africa to generate new ideas and models of care that promote improved access to universal health care and to challenge students across the curriculum to extend their thinking to include health as a human right. Dr. Stuart Shaw has received local, national, and international recognition for her contributions to health equity and has authored numerous peer-reviewed journal articles and one book. Congratulations, Dr. Stuart Shaw. Thank you for the opportunity to express my gratitude to the National League for Nursing uh, for selecting me for the Isabel Hampton Rob Award for Outstanding Leadership in Clinical Practice. The award came with this really beautiful, uh, wonderful crystal platter, which um, is engraved, and just really appreciated that and, and the platter. So, as a clinician, educator, and scholar in a practice profession, couldn't be more honored and humbled than be to be recognized um, for, for clinical practice and for my ability and, and contribution to evidence-based care and also just stretching our thinking to think of new ways uh, to improve health equity and universal access for all. I'm deeply indebted to the MLN for the value they attach to um, the clinical education I'm also deeply indebted to my colleagues who nominated me for this award. After the award, after I was selected for the award, they, they shared the award letter with me. And it was a rare gift indeed to be able to read the observations of students, faculty, and clinicians from several countries um, who had observations around the impact of our time together and their continued dedication to quality care and, um, and health equity. That was just a real treat to get to read those. Uh, I'm sorry that we can't all be together for this conference, um, but I hope that it will be productive and rewarding. Um, thank you again to the NLN for the award and for bringing us all together towards the advancement of, of nursing education. Thank you and again, enjoy your time. Our final LNN award is the Lillian Wald Humanitarian Award for someone who has demonstrated unselfish devotion to humanity. This year's recipient is Dr. William E. Rosa, a psycho-oncology postdoctoral research fellow at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City. Dr. Rosa received his BSN Magna Cum Laude from the New York University Rory Mayers College of Nursing, was valedictorian of his MSN class at CUNY Hunter College and earned his PhD and Masters of Bioethics as an RWJF Future of Nursing Scholar at the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Rosa spent one year with the Human Resources for Health program in Rwanda, East Africa, contributing to the curriculum content for the first master's prepared nursing cohort in the country. He is the editor of three books on leadership, Global Health, and theory guided practice and has contributed to more than 130 publications in a host of diverse forums. Dr. Rosa has been recognized with numerous scholarly distinction and is a fellow of the American Academy of Nursing, the American Association of Nurse Practitioners, the American College of Critical Care Medicine and the New York Academy of Medicine. He serves on the editorial board for the Journal of Hospice and Palliative Nursing and as a board member for several global health and palliative care initiatives. Dr. Rosa was recently selected as a 2020 International Council 
of Nurses Global Nurses Leadership Institute Scholar and is lead researcher for an international policy report sponsored by the World Innovation Summit for Health, Nurses for Health Equity, guidelines for tackling the social determinants of health, which will be released in spring 2021. Hi, my name is Billy Rosa, and I am incredibly humbled to receive the National League for Nursing Lillian Wall's Humanitarian Award. Thank you to my nominators, Dr. Patricia Moreland and Dr. Michelle Upfall. Thank you to the awards committee for your time and your energy. A deep bow of gratitude to my mentors, collaborators, friends, and family who make my work possible. And a deep, deep thanks to the National League for Nursing for your incredible and inspiring leadership throughout 2020 in these very trying times. This year has been an incredible year for nursing. The WHO State of the World's Nursing Report, the Year of the Nurse and the Midwife, but it has also come with significant challenges across health and social justice domains, as we all know. Now more than ever, the legacy of Lillian Wald is needed to inform our work and our service. I thank you all for your partnership on this journey, wishing you continued health, safety, and well-being. Take good care. Now we move on to the LNN Centers of Excellence Program, which was established in 2004, making this the 16th year to publicly recognize schools of nursing and healthcare organizations that are committed to continuous quality improvement and that demonstrate sustained innovation. We applaud the faculty and administrators at the 17 institutions designated in 2020 for going beyond the norm and achieving excellence in one of our four specific areas. Barry University. It is remarkable that even though Barry University attracts economically and ethnically disadvantaged students, their strength is in creating great nurse leaders. Barry's flexible, dynamic, current and relevant curricula empower and challenge students to excel and become involved in their communities. During their education, Barry students are consistently engaged with vulnerable populations and learn to value the difference that one dedicated individual can make. Congratulations to Barry University. Chamberlain University. Chamberlain University's mission is to educate, empower, and embolden diverse healthcare professionals who advance the health of people worldwide. Chamberlain has continued to exemplify their dedication to each criterion to achieve redesignation as a National League for Nursing Center of Excellence for creating environments that promote the pedagogical expertise of faculty. Chamberlain faculty have illustrated excellence in innovation, student engagement, community engagement, professional development, and advancements of the profession with a commitment to improve faculty and student outcomes in nursing education. On behalf of the nursing faculty at Chamberlain University, we are deeply honored and excited to achieve redesignation as the National League for Nursing Center of Excellence for creating environments that promote the pedagogical expertise of faculty. Chamberlain University's mission is to educate, embolden, and empower diverse healthcare professionals who advance the health of people worldwide. We're so proud of our faculty who have illustrated yet again their excellence in innovation, student engagement, community engagement, professional development, and advancement of the profession with a commitment always to faculty and student outcomes in nursing education. Thank you. Congratulations, Chamberlain. Collin County Community College. This honor represents an accomplishment of Collin's core values for learning, service and involvement creativity and innovation and academic excellence. Nursing faculty and staff all played a part to make this honor possible 
and are excited to once again earn Collin County Community College's designation as an LLN Center of Excellence for the 2020 to 2024 term. Duquesne University, a forerunner in online nursing education, Duquesne's is proud of the School of Nursing's fourth designation as an LNN Center of Excellence. Duquesne faculty members support student professional development by cultivating a community of learners, modeling excellence as educators, researchers, and clinicians. In turn, Duquesne graduates emerge as leaders who are prepared to serve nationally and internationally to address today's nursing and healthcare challenges. Hello, my name is Mary Ellen Glasgow, Dean of Duquesne University School of Nursing. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students of Duquesne University, I would like to thank the National League for Nursing for recognizing us as a center of excellence. Congratulations to Duquesne University. East Carolina University. Continued designation as an LLN Center of Excellence supports East Carolina University's vision to achieve national recognition for innovative programs in nursing education and collaborative interdisciplinary partnerships. While the creativity continues, ECU's mission to prepare nurses for the future is stronger than ever. While embracing new challenges and exploring the possibilities, ECU's responsibility remains to facilitate student achievement and learning for today, tomorrow, and beyond the horizon. On behalf of the faculty and staff of East Carolina University College of Nursing, I'd like to extend my appreciation to NLN for our fourth designation as a Center of Excellence. This achievement is a true testimony to the commitment and dedication of our faculty and staff to assuring our students have a quality education. Congratulations to East Carolina University. Francis Marion University. In promoting the pediological expertise of faculty, Francis Marion University's Department of Nursing is able to offer excellent programs at the baccalaureate, master's, and doctoral level. Faculty use their expertise to prepare graduates as nurse generalists, advanced practice nurses, nurse educators, and leaders. Together, faculty, graduates, and students work towards a shared vision of promoting excellence in healthcare. The nursing faculty at Francis Marion University are dedicated to providing an excellent education that prepares our graduates to function competently as caring professional nurses. We are FMU Nursing. Congratulations to Francis Marion University. Rutgers University. The Rutgers School of Nursing Outcomes in Pediological Excellence scholarly writing, low turnover, and the impressive number of faculty awards and recognitions as evidenced by the use of their faculty as experts in the popular media, as well in nursing profession, speak to their ability to support and develop faculty to excel and ensure that Rutgers School of Nursing truly exemplifies as celebrated by their tagline, excellence in action. Texas A&M University. Texas A&M University College of Nursing upholds the Aggie core values of respect, excellence, loyalty, leadership, integrity, and selfless service among degree seeking and professional education students who are challenged to meet the vast care workforce needs of Texas. With a nearly 100% employment rate within a year of graduation across academic programs, former students are meeting nursing workforce needs in Texas as demonstrated by MSN family nurse practitioner graduates, of whom two thirds are providing primary health care in rural and underserved areas. Forensic nursing as an MSN specialization is a tremendous asset as they prepare nurses to address the issues of interprofessional violence through the Texas A&M Health Center of Excellence, 
in forensic nursing, the first designated center of its kind in the state. Congratulations to Texas A&M University. Trinitas School of Nursing. The faculty and staff of Trinitas School of Nursing have one overriding goal in their daily work, to provide the environment and support for students to succeed in their chosen path. Since 2008, when the school became a center of excellence, the faculty and students proudly embrace the excellence designation and are encouraged to do more for their professional development and for nursing education. The faculty is challenged to continuously improve and share strategies with each other. Nurse educators are implementing a learning environment, one that engenders success for students and for new graduates. Congratulations to Trinitas School of Nursing. Uniform Services, University of the Health Sciences. A strength of the Uniform Services University nursing programs is the depth and breadth of its innovative, adaptive and responsive curricular design grounded in pedagogical research and resulting in graduates who guide federal healthcare with evidence-based approaches for high reliability care in the military health system. The graduates are prepared to lead change and transform the federal health system to improve the readiness of forces and healthcare to the service members and their families. Through enhanced environments of learning and professional development, students participate in multiple operational readiness opportunities to prepare for independent practice in austere medical environments. I'm Dean Carol Romano, and on behalf of the Graduate School of Nursing at the Uniform Services University, thank you for the honor of recognition as an NLN Center of Excellence in Education. I'm grateful for all of our amazing faculty who create an environment that enhances learning, and for our students who are learning to care for those in harm's way through a unique and challenging curriculum. Thank you. Congratulations, Uniform Services University of the Health Sciences. University of Cincinnati. By leveraging technology to transform the way it teaches, the way its students learn, and the way it leads as a college, the University of Cincinnati College of Nursing has created content that meets multiple learning domains and styles, engaging students in active learning strategies and providing real-time feedback on assignments and tests and flipping the classroom. The University of Cincinnati College of Nursing is committed to holistic admission practices that consider both quantitative and qualitative criteria, such as life experiences, motivation, and character to admit a diverse student body that exemplifies the core values of the college. For fall 2020 BSN admissions, 33% of students determined to be a good fit based on combined quantitative and qualitative metrics will not have been selected based on quantitative metrics alone. This means so much to us as a college because it validates the very purpose of our existence, that is to educate the students in the best way possible. Thank you so much. Congratulations to the University of Cincinnati. University of Kentucky. 
the University of Kentucky College of Nursing Dean, faculty and staff are honored to receive LNN designation as a center of excellence for promoting the academic progression of nurses through academic practice partnerships. Current academic practice partnerships with UK Healthcare, Norton Healthcare, and Select Medical Corporation continue the important work of educating nurses at the highest levels to better meet the needs of all we serve. Over the last three years, 47 students from the UCON UKHC partnership completed their DMP degree. 96 students in the UCON NHC partnership completed their DMP degree and 100 students from the Select Medical Partnership completed their BSN degree. Congratulations to the University of Kentucky. University of Louisiana Lafayette. Faculty development initiatives across the career continuum provide the foundation for the successful implementation of undergraduate and graduate nursing educating programs at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Exemplary student outcomes as indicated by undergraduate and graduate student success on national licensure and certification exams exemplify remarkable program success sustained over decades. Support from endowed professorships, two research endowed chairs, and a fully staffed Office of Distance Learning provide the resources that faculty need to accelerate in the areas of research, teaching and service, and to prepare expert clinicians and leaders in healthcare. Congratulations, University of Louisiana, Lafayette. University of South Carolina. The University of South Carolina College of Nursing is excited to receive recognition as an LLN Center of Excellence. This recognition will generate enthusiasm over its prestigious honor and result in a sense of pride for the faculty, students, and alumni. Recognition as the LNN Center of Excellence helps to support nursing goals and vision as a preeminent college of nursing of distinction that pioneers innovation, leadership, and excellence. University of South Carolina Nursing will showcase their commitment to teaching and professional development of nursing students throughout their branding and publications, highlighting their achievements and ongoing commitment to excellence, transferring into enhanced student and faculty recruitment. Hello, I'm Janetta Ingram, Dean of the University of South Carolina College of Nursing. Now more than ever, it's essential to provide quality, innovative nursing programs that produce nurses at every level to optimize the health of citizens of South Carolina, across the United States, and beyond. This designation echoes our commitment to our vision of being a preeminent college of nursing that pioneers innovation, leadership, and excellence. Our faculty, staff, and students feel truly privileged to have the opportunity to positively impact and to be an agent of change in the nursing sector alongside fellow esteemed designated centers of excellence. Thank you. Congratulations to the University of South Carolina. The University of Texas at Arlington. Our vision is to provide innovative, exceptional education through research and practice to advance health and the human condition globally. With a powerful vision of the future of nursing education for our students and for those they serve, the faculty create new opportunities in education, discovery, scholarship, practice and service. This is accomplished by advancing global health and the human condition through transdisciplinary collaboration by engaging in high quality teaching, research, scholarship, practice and service to prepare a diverse population of health professionals to reduce health disparities. Congratulations to the University of Texas at Arlington. Wallace State Community College. Wallace State Community College's Department of Nursing Education inspires a culture of possibility and produces graduates who are dedicated and healthcare providers committed to transforming the lives of patients, families, and their community. 
the department provides students with a broad range of activities by which they can serve their communities while enhancing their education. Activities include Kid Check, Let's Pretend Hospital and Swell, which stands for Safety, Wellness, Education and Lifestyle Learning, serving thousands of children in the college's service area. Through these activities, Wallace State nursing students interact with youngsters in various ways from providing head-to-toe evaluations to lessons on health, safety and hygiene. In 2019, they also participated for the first time in Kenya Relief, an aid organization set up by a Wallace State nursing alum, where students travel to Kenya and help treat hundreds of patients who normally have little access to healthcare. Wallace State nursing program benefits from being part of a college that embraces a tradition of excellence with a record of outstanding student success as recognized by the Aspen Institute, Achieving the Dream, the League for Innovation in the Community College, the Institute for Evidence-Based Change and others. Wallace also has been named among the top institutions in the South for Workforce Development, an all Steinway School, a military friendly college, and recently the best online community college in the state and 16th in the nation by the Guide to Online Schools. Congratulations to Wallace State Community College. Widener University. And finally, Widener University School of Nursing is dedicated to fostering student learning and professional development through a focused commitment to a quality, innovative and creative nursing education experience. Students are transformed in an engaged community of scholars and leaders ready to shape the healthcare environment of the future. Widener Pride shines through the accomplishments of the students, faculty and alumni. We are pleased to accept the Center of Excellence designation. We are proud of our students' success and we are dedicated to their learning. What's our motto? We're all wild. Woo! Woo! Congratulations to Widener University. Now, for the induction of the LLN Academy of Nursing Education, a celebration that recognizes the wisdom of outstanding individuals who have made substantial contributions to nursing education. These 15 scholars have made tremendous contributions in the area of teaching and learning innovations, faculty development, research, leadership, or public policy related to nursing education. First, we induct Sabrina Beroz. Dr. Sabrina Beroz brings expertise in faculty development of simulation educators. She led a simulation consortium and the creation of a statewide curriculum model for faculty development of simulation educators. Outcomes resulted in the education of hundreds of faculty throughout the state of Maryland, improved simulation practices and a model serving simulation programs across the nation. She increased the reach of simulation education to national and international audiences through publications, an Excel board service, mentorship of educators in Tanzania, Slovenia, Puerto Rico, and China, as one of the authors for the massive open online courses titled Essentials in Clinical Simulations Across the Health Professions, reaching over 5,000 participants worldwide. I want to thank the National League for Nursing and the Board of Governors for this distinguished award and to my family, sponsors, colleagues, and friends who have helped me in my journey. I look forward to working with all of you at the Academy. Congratulations, Dr. Beroz. Next, Paul Thomas Clements. Dr. Paul Thomas Clements, congruent with the NLN mission statement of Goal One, leader in nursing education, over three decades ago, recognized the importance of evaluating 
the social determinants and social justice of victims of interpersonal violence. This resulted in undertaking significant efforts to expand this knowledge base via dissemination of scholarly writing, media, and national international presentations. He developed collegiate and university level educational courses on the precepts of victimology, which examined the manner in which an offender gains access to a victim. Actions during an assault, threats for secrecy, and disclosure of an assault, all of which have direct impact on traumatic presentations and behaviors exhibited by the survivor in the aftermath. These victims are often unwittingly overlooked by the nurse in a variety of settings, ultimately leaving the patient as a victim in plain sight. He strives to critically apprise contemporary forensic information and disseminate those evidence-based findings to a wide variety of conference presentations, including emergency room nurses, intensive care nurses, public health nurses, psychiatric nurses, primary care nurses, women's health, obstetrical slash gynecological conferences, and primary health conferences, all of whom have a high potential for interface with these victims. Congratulations, Dr. Clements. Majesda Il Bana is next. Dr. L. Banner's leadership and research have advanced the science of nursing education by generating evidences on best practices in teaching and learning. Outcomes from several of her studies provide guidance for faculty nationally and internationally to improve teaching pedagogies and learning environments. To meet the needs of today's learner, she continues to develop and test technology facilitated educational interventions to foster success in program requirements, but more importantly, improve graduate nurses' competency and ability to deliver safe patient care. The effectiveness of her evidence-based interventions raises the caliber of educational programs and strengthen nurses' readiness for practice. Congratulations, Dr. L. Banner. Rowena Elliott is our next inductee. Dr. Elliott's call on her professional life is to have a positive impact on the lives of nursing students. While serving as the national president of the American Nephrology Nurses Association, Dr. Elliott demonstrated her commitment to nursing students by establishing and personally funding Dare to Soar nursing scholarships over the past eight years. Members of the American Nephrology Nurses Association, Mississippi Nurse Association, and the Mississippi Association of Nurse Student Nurses have received this scholarship. Dr. Elliott continues strives to provide an innovative learning environment. She received the honor of becoming an Emory University Teaching Fellow for developing an innovative teaching strategy. Dr. Elliott helped baccalaureate nursing students create technology-driven and user-friendly teaching tools for older adults. Congratulations, Dr. Elliott. Next, we induct Coretta Generet. Dr. Generet is making significant contributions to the education of PhD nursing students with a simulation in PhD programs or SIPP, SIP. Influenced by her internationally established program of research in sickle cell disease, she has influenced changes to programmatic outcomes to include social determinants of health, health equity, and the cultivation of social justice advocates in nursing PhD programs. These changes will impact students' doctoral education experiences and their research for many years to come. Congratulations to Dr. Generet. Rebecca Kronk is our next inductee. Dr. Kronk has effectively combined her clinical passions for caring for children with developmental disabilities and genetics and genomics with nursing education to become a distinguished leader in nursing education. 
Dr. Kwan has led significant initiatives in educating diverse communities in the professional health care providers and nursing students about the quality care of required for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Through the knowledge gained in her extensive postdoctoral education at the National Institutes of Health, Dr. Kronk has implemented impactful changes within nursing practice, research, and education, as well as interprofessional arenas. Her work has been disseminated internationally. Congratulations, Dr. Kronk. Next, we induct Maria Torchia Logripo. Dr. Logripo's significant contributions to nursing education include developing models of seamless academic progression throughout New Jersey. From this work, she was recognized nationally as a breakthrough leader in nursing by the Future of Nursing, Campaign for Action, and initiative of AARP and Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. She is a champion for building a culture of health in her state and throughout the country. Dr. Logrippo led a curricular changes for the entry to baccalaureate practice division at Rutgers University School of Nursing, moving from a predominantly acute care model to a population health focused curriculum. Her passion for the RN student is evident in her tenacity and her innovative thinking around program and curricular development. Thank you to the NLN Academy for this honor. I am committed to moving nursing education forward to advancing health and health equity. I am humbled, I am grateful, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Congratulations, Dr. Logrippo. Next, we welcome Amy Nichols. Dr. Amy Nichols has demonstrated enduring leadership to nursing education. She has spent efforts lifting nurses up and changing nurses' career trajectory, improving their level of education and competency. In recognition of the lack of numbers of graduate prepared nurses, her vision to advance the number of graduate prepared nurses in California was forthcoming prior to the Future of Nursing published report recommending increasing the number of graduate prepared nurses nationally. Her work forever changed the blueprint of supporting advancements of nursing. Congratulations, Dr. Nichols. Our next inductee is Sarah Ofer. Leadership in Nursing Education by Sarah Ofer, MSN, MED, RN, includes ongoing development of curricula addressing community and population needs of minority school-aged children in the U.S. states of Missouri and Ohio, as well as Tanzania and India. Through collaboration and relationship building, Sarah has implemented both local and global educational projects to reduce health disparities and inequities, which includes the implementation of intercultural education projects across social economic graduates where Sarah has led teams of students and professional. Through a decade plus of national and international impactful education efforts, Sarah has improved the lives of thousands. Congratulations, Ms. Other. Edmund J.Y. Paha Rilio is our next inductee. Dr. Edmund Paharilio intertwines the impact of nursing informatics in all areas of nursing in his teaching, curriculum development, research, pediological and patient care technologies, and its impact to professional organizations, practice and policy. He believes that a good nurse leader is information literate and savvy in information processing and management. In the same manner, he advocates for strong leaders to use their skill and expertise in nursing informatics and administration in mentoring the future of nurses of the world. Nursing informatics, administration and mentoring inform his research, teaching and professional service. Hello, this is Admin Fahari here. I'm deeply grateful to my family, mentors, sponsors, and colleagues for supporting my passion in nursing informatics, leadership, and mentoring. And to the NLN Board of Governors, thank you so much for this commendation. Congratulations, Dr. Paha Rilio. 
Next, Richard Pullen. Dr. Richard Pullen incorporates intentional caring, Watson's transpersonal caring, and adult learning, Knowles anthropology, into his teaching approaches to help faculty and students flourish in an environment that fosters mutual trust, respect, and collaboration. Richard published three models that help students to, one, demonstrate basic psychomotor skills and develop professional values, two, critically think through scholarly writing, and third, embrace the dimensions of human suffering at the end of life. Richard believes that writing for publication is a way to teach nurses and nursing students globally that has been a primary or co-author in 120 publications. He established writing for publication groups in 2002 and mentored 35 faculty colleagues in their first publication. Hello, I'm Richard Pullen. Thank you to the NLN Board of Commissioners for this high honor. I'm deeply grateful. I always tell people I'm about two things in nursing education, and that is helping my students and helping my faculty colleagues. Once again, thank you for this wonderful honor. Congratulations, Dr. Pullen. F. Patrick Robinson is our next inductee. Dr. Robinson led pioneering initiatives to expand nursing education related to HIV AIDS globally. The development of faculty training programs and curricular consultations resulted in the training of nursing faculty across the globe who were able to competently address the spectrum of HIV AIDS care in their classrooms and clinical settings. Also, he developed the nation's first graduate direct assessment competency-based nursing degree program, resulting in improved access and decreased barriers to nursing education. Congratulations, Dr. Robinson. Our next inductee is Tanya Schneiderreif. Dr. Tanya Schneiderreif is known throughout the international nursing education community, primarily for faculty de development, as well as leadership, service, and innovations that champion simulation-based education. She spearheaded the development of the Thomas Sykes Unfolding Cases for the LNN's Advancing Care Excellent Pediatric Series and collaborated to co-create the LNN Vision Statement, Integration of the Social Determinants of Health into Nursing Education Curricula. She is the simulation expert on the LNN's TEQ Blog Editorial Advisory Board and was one of the first few certified in Maryland as an internationally recognized advanced certified healthcare simulation educator. She is at the forefront of nurse practitioner simulation and is an associate editor for the first MP simulation guidelines and best practices. Thank you to the NLN Board of Governors and the selection committee for this honor. I'm indebted to my nominators, Dr. Kim Layton and Dr. Mindy Anderson for their support throughout this entire application process. I'm also grateful to the many mentors that I have had that have helped impact and shape my nursing career. I'm indebted to the NLN Sim Leaders Program who helped propel my career in simulation and helped to make me the leader that I am today. I am grateful to everyone who has helped support me, and I look forward to working with other members of the Academy of Nursing Education as we move forward. Thank you. Congratulations, Dr. Schneider. Next, we present Jane Teed. Throughout her career, Dr. Jane Teed has endeavored to lead change inspire and educate nurses to advocate for the vulnerable and undeserved. Through sustained educational leadership, Dr. Teed has developed and co-created ongoing curricula to address health disparities and improve health outcomes through clinical prevention and community development. She has led teams of students and professionals to implement sustainable health programs for diverse cultural and social economic groups. Her leadership, consultation, and scholarly activities include sustained collaborative relationships 
and interprofessional partnerships in Liberia, Vietnam, and Zambia. Congratulations, Dr. Teed. Our final inductee is Zane Wolf. Dr. Wolf's impact on nursing education is recognized in the master's and doctoral nursing curriculums she has created and implemented and by publications on an array of topics pertinent to nurse educators. She is a long-term mentor of nursing faculty and clinical nurses, supported their publication efforts and career trajectory. As an editor and advisor, Dr. Wolf pays it forward as a mentor for former students peers and academic nurse educators. Congratulations, Dr. Wolf. And thank you to each of the members of the awards committee, the Academy Review Panel, and the COE Review Panel for your commitment to excellence and the NLN. Please know so much hard work and effort goes into the selection processes, and we are grateful to these gracious and dedicated volunteers. Thank you as well to the sponsors of this year's summit who helped make all of this possible. Congratulations again to this year's honorees. See you next year.